Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're keeping safe and sane with everything that's going on. So today's video is going to be a lesson on trendiness. By the end of this video, you're going to be a trendy queen, I promise you. So remember those cardigans we all had in the fifth grade that were cute, they had buttons, they were all cute colors? Well, I'm here to tell you they are out. And they've been replaced by this trendy Thai cardigans that honestly I think are such a fun take on the cardigan, but the price tag on these kinds of sweaters go from $5,000 to $10,000 and I don't have that kind of money so I decided I'd DIY a few of them. So in case you want to go from grandma to baddie like me, let's do it together. So first things first is you're going to mark the points you want your cropped cardigan to reach and you will also mark the length of your sleeve. We're going to turn this into a short sleeve so we need to mark those points. Just make sure everything is in order, the papers are filed, the divorce is going great. And once you have your points, you're just going to draw a straight line through the bottom bit that way you can crop evenly and no one knows you made this alone in your bedroom crying because you have no friends so now we're just going to cut through that straight line that way we can crop this bad boy and at this point if you want a cropped cardigan my job here is finished go out and rock your cropped cardigan but we're here to do the most so I'm going to repeat the same process on the sleeves I'm just going to draw a straight line through the sleeve and cut off the excess fabric I'm then going to use this excess fabric as a template on the other side just to make sure everything is nice and even and no one knows we own 700 cats and we're forever alone. If this looks professional everything in our life is put together I promise you. So as you can see my sleeves were not even and I feel like crying right now but no one noticed so it's fine. So now I'm just opening the bad boy up just to make sure I get a feel of the land and to see who is where and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seam rip all the buttons because we do not need buttons we do not need buttons on anything if you have buttons on anything take them out whether it's trousers cardigans you do not need them we need ties so what I'm doing is I seam ripped all of them using my seam ripper this took no time at all make sure you recycle your buttons because you never know when buttons are going to be back in and you need them so save them the future is uncertain so once you recycled your buttons and you're an environmental queen you're now going to get rid of the button packet. So to do this I just cut a straight line through that line you see. This was so easy to do. We're just getting rid of the excess fabric and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the side that had the buttons because it also had this bulky piece of fabric that I had no use for and now you have your cardigan. So you're going to turn it inside out. That way you can double hem your sleeves just to give the sleeves a professional look. This is totally optional. You can just leave it as is. Honestly sweater material doesn't really fray it's going to have that rugged kind of feel but I was feeling more neat on this day so I decided to go the extra mile to do a straight stitch is pretty simple just fold in your fabric twice and do a straight stitch along the bottom edge that we have a nice and beautiful sleeve that's super neat when you get to a bulky point just gently guide the fabric through do not pressure her do not put her in uncomfortable situations just guide her through and she will go through the presser foot beautifully and once you've finished your sewing and backstitched because you're a good person you'll have this beautiful sleeve that's beautiful and I've said beautiful a thousand times so it's time to move on so now remember the bottom bit we cut off I hope you did not make a whole new sweater out of it we need to use it so I'm just going to get rid of the button packet because it's 2020 and any bulkiness of any kind is not allowed we are moving forward with as little baggage as possible so once the bulky packets are out it's not time to cut our four ties and to do this I'm just drawing a straight line that's about an inch thick so my straps are going to be an inch thick and honestly the second line I drew was pointless because I can just use the first one as a template and I realized this after I drawn it so don't be like me learn from my mistakes so I just cut through the line and once I had my first strap I used it as a template and cut out the other three so you're going to have four strips in total and this are going to be your beautiful tie once you have your four ties now it's time to make them nice and neat that way everything is professional no one knows we made this in our basement so to do this I'm just going to fold them with the right side in so you're going to be sewing
sewing on the wrong side and you're going to sew all along the edge all the way to the bottom to close everything up we're going to be turning this the right way out eventually so you want all that uneven not nice fabric to be on the inside anyway so I'm just sewing along the edge making sure everything is nice and even no one is disobeying the government everyone's paying their taxes I'm just making sure everything is in line and once I was happy and satisfied with the stitching I made sure to backstitch because I follow the law I don't want to end up in prison and once I had my four strips of fabric they looked a bit like this so as you can see they're all inside out this are not cute we're about to turn them cute and to do this you're going to need an instrument called the loop turner so I got this magical piece of equipment from AliExpress for about a dollar and she has changed my life ever since she came into my life I've been getting better grades my skin has been clear everything has been in line so I recommend getting this loop turner I'm going to link it in the description bar down below but what I'm doing is I'm just using it to turn the straps the right way out and all you're going to do is push it through until it emerges on the other side and then you're going to pinch a bit of fabric with a hook and basically turn the strap within itself so that the right side is outside so this will take some time especially because this was sweater fabric it was a bit bulky she was giving me problems she did not want to listen to what I had to say despite it being good advice so I really had to gently talk to her soothe her so that she would turn the right way out so I took my time with this just be gentle be patient with the process I promise you it's going to be so worth it once this is turned the right way out out once a piece of fabric emerges on the other side you're just going to pull the fabric on top of itself just do this until the wrong side of the fabric is all hidden away and inside and you have the right side of the fabric outside so take your time with this whatever you need to do to cope if you want to have a glass of wine if you want to have three glasses of wine as you do this it's totally up to you and as you can see our strap is looking so beautiful and it doesn't look like we made this in our basement which is basically the goal of this video so once I turned all the straps the right way out I had four beautiful straps that we're now going to attach to our cardigan so the first strap I attached it one and a half inches from the top edge this is just a measurement I wanted to use you can make it lower or higher it's all up to you and for the second bit I made that three inches away from the first point and I repeated the same process on the other side that way our ties would be evenly placed and no one would find out that we live in our basement say it with me <laughs> so once my two points were marked or rather four points it was now time to finish everything off and I decided to fold in this edge just to give it a more neater look and when it came to the point I needed to attach the strap I just hooked her on pinned her in place and carried on with my folding like everything was normal so as you can see I'm just folding in my fabric inside and then pinning the strap where I need to and continue that process until I get to the bottom edge so just fold in your fabric once pin it in place that way sewing is a breeze and once you've pinned everything you have a beautiful edge on one side and now it's time to repeat the same exact process on the other side so just pin the straps where they need to be make sure they're not disobeying the parents make sure they're not that rebellious teenager and they're staying in check so just make sure everyone is nice and pinned and once you get to the bottom edge it's time to sew everything so that the straps are attached and your cardigan has a nice and finished edge so moving on to the sewing machine I'm just doing my basic straight stitch nothing fancy we're being basic today and to do the straight stitch is super simple just sew this along the edge of your edge Wow <laughs> just sew this along the edge of your fold that way everything is nice and neat and when you get to a point with the strap it is going to be a bit bulky so you need to handle her with care you need to massage her a bit you need to tell her this is okay what you're about to go through is normal and gently push the fabric into your machine and just let the needle and her get acquainted this needs you to be gentle do not shove her do not push her she does not need pressure okay so just be there for her and make sure the machine is going smoothly over the bulky bit and once you've done that on both sides your ties will be attached and you're basically almost done so to finish off the ties I would look a bit more professional 
professional. I was really about that professional life on this day. I'm just doing this simple knot at the very edge just to make it cute. I thought this looked super cute and gave it a very nice and professional feel, which I really loved. And once you've tied a knot on the edge of all the four ties, you can be done with your cardigan at this point. But as I said, I was feeling extra extra on this day. So I decided to also double hem the bottom edge just to make it neater. And once that was done, this is her. She's looking cute. I love this trend so much. I think it's so sexy. It's like casual, but in a sexy, sexy way. So I'm here for this trend. And I also made a second cardigan. So let's get right into that one. So this sweater I've had for, I think, seven years now. And she is not my best friend. I don't think she's flattering. The neck detail I do not love, but I love the material of it. I love the color. It's white. Who doesn't love white? So I decided I turn this into a beautiful, you guessed it, tie cardigan. And look at that beauty. This is so pretty. It's my favorite one because it's so simple. I kept the sleeve detail because I thought that was cute. But that horrible neck detail is gone, never to be seen again. And I'm happy about that. So to make this cardigan, it's much simpler than the first one. All you're going to do is mark a point. Just roughly map it out with your hands and place a pin where you want your V to be. Honestly, I could have done with just getting rid of that horrible neck thing. I don't know what to call it. I shouldn't have gone so deep because the girls were really exposed. You could see them shining in all their glory. But I don't mind it, okay? But in case you do, just make sure you don't cut as far down. And as you can see, I also drew a straight line from that V point to go all the way down. And now I'm just opening the cardigan up just to make sure everyone is in check. So I'm just cutting through the lines as you can see me do. Nothing special. Honestly, this is so easy to do. You're going to be so happy. So at the back, I decided to get rid of that neck thing. I didn't really scoop it out or make it deep or anything. And now we have a cardigan shape. And for my ties, I decided I'd use this straps are on the neck thing not straps really they're just this lines and they provided this beautiful guide on how thick my straps would be so I definitely liked that at least this neck thing had a purpose in my life so once I'd cut out one strip of fabric I just stretched her tested her limits just to make sure she could handle the heat in the kitchen and once I was done I cut out a second strap that way I'd have two straps I also got rid of that tag thing because she would be bulky and get in my way as I was sewing so so now all I'm doing is I'm folding in the edge once and pinning it in place. That way our cardigan has a nice and finished look. So I did this all throughout the raw edges that we cut all the way down. Once I got to the corner bits, this is where I attached my strap. And as you can see, I just folded in my fabric, placed the strap on top, pinned it in place and continued pinning all throughout my cardigan. So just fold in your fabric once, put the pin there to hold her, to check her so that she's not snitching to the police. And once everyone is nice and pinned, it's now time to do a straight stitch all around to attach your ties and to give your cardigan a nice and neat look. So once you're at the sewing machine, you know the drill, nothing new here, straight stitch all the way through. This is so simple to do. It literally took me about 10 minutes to do this cardigan and I love it so much. So once I got to the strap bit, you know what happens. Just talk to the fabric, guide her through. She's going to repay you by being nice. Don't push her, don't shove her. And if you need to lift your presser foot, you do that. Do whatever you need to do to cope just to make sure everything is in order. And once you get to the corner bit, it. So I decided to do one continuous stitch from one side to the other. That way I didn't have to break anything and everything was nice and continuous. So that's why you see me raise my presser foot, turn the fabric and then continue sewing after I put my presser foot down. That way I don't break this stitch. She's nice and continuous and everyone's happy honestly. So just do your straight stitch when you get to bulky fabric points. Do not be scared. Just gently glide the fabric. Slow down your speed and I promise at the end of it all you're going to have a beautiful cardigan that you'll be super proud of. So once that's done, you're literally done with the second cardigan. As I told you, she's super simple to do. She's beautiful. We love her. And as you can see, my straps have that kind of rugged effect, which I really like. I think it matches the sleeves. And in case you want better looking ties, you can just crop your cardigan and use that to make ties like we did with the other cardigan. But I wanted a bit of difference. I wanted a bit of spice to this cardigan. And that's why I chose 
supposed to use that neck bit as my straps. Anyway, that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll be trying to make this trendy cardigans. That way we can give everyone a run for their money. It's now time to show cleavage whilst keeping warm. And honestly, that is a 2020 mood I'm here for. Having said that, I hope you guys keep safe and that I'll be seeing you in my next video. Until then, bye guys. Thank you.